what's up my four lifers welcome back to another video this video will be a little different from what y'all are normally used to this will be an actual sit down video i wanted my first sit down video to be about something that's extremely important to me which led me to the topic of mental peace so in this video i'll be giving y'all a few of my tips on how to maintain your mental peace so i'll be giving you all a few of my tips and tricks that I have used over the years. Some that I have just incorporated into my life recently. A lot of these have helped me through so much. I love so much, y'all. So we're going to start with the first one being, first and foremost, it's important to know that true peace of mind isn't determined by your circumstances. It's the choice that you make to rise above your situation. Personally, I became a person that sees the brightest side of things. I try to put more energy into the positive things that are going on in my life. So number one would be to wake up every day and show gratitude daily. No matter what, make it, waking up for a new day is the big, biggest blessing of them all. Sometimes anxiety keeps us focused on past experiences and worrying about the future. However, gratitude grounds us by centering us into present times. Number two is going to be to pray. And y'all, some people pray a little bit differently. Some people connect with God a totally different way. Me personally, I'm not the typical prayer. I don't get on my knees and pray. That's just personally like, not me. I don't find myself doing that too often. But I do find myself sitting and talking to God multiple times throughout the day. Whether it can be me just sitting at my work desk and just have a lot going on in my mind. I make sure I take that time to talk to God, y'all. I personally feel like you can't get anywhere in this world without having a relation and a connection with God. So make sure, if you don't already, make sure you go and find that relationship and find that connection with God, y'all. It's, 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 it's definitely one of the most important things. My third thing would be to keep yourself active no matter what. I know sometimes we can get in our head, get in a little funk, and we just want to lay around all day and just basically waste. We're just wasting our energy, wasting all. So I would say just get up, work out, find you something energetic to do, because sitting there and laying in your sorrows does absolutely nothing positive in your life. It, it has no positive effects. I've recently just gotten back into the gym, getting back into the part of me that I feel like was my better days. And my better days was when I was going to the gym every single day, y'all. It was one point in my life that I was going to the gym every single day, and that was the most peaceful time of my life. So I feel like it's very important to keep yourself energetic. Make sure you're active and doing things, because the more you sit around and do nothing, the more miserable your life will be. That's my personal take on it, honestly. Y'all, so number four, this is something that I have not always did. This is something that has kind of cost me recently due to not doing this earlier or not making this implement or implementing this into my life earlier. And it would be to deal with uncomfortable situations head on. Anything that makes you uncomfortable, deal with it head on. The more you let it linger and sit, the worse it gets. Trying to mask things and avoid disappointment along with having anxiety will make things so much worse. Honestly, I feel like being able to call it how it is is so much relief. At the end of the day, your feelings should be the most important thing to you. Sometimes we sit and we'll think, oh, how is this making them feel? How is this making this person feel? No, how does it make you feel? So it's most, like people may call it selfish, I don't think it's selfish to put yourself first at all. And me personally, I'm going to put myself first no matter what. I don't care who it is, who it's not. <laughs> I'm going to put myself and my feelings first. So it's very important. Deal with those uncomfortable situations head on. No matter how it ends, how it doesn't end, whatever the case may be, just deal with those situations head on. Believe me, it will be very vital in your life. I promise. Another thing that I have been doing over the past few years which I don't really do so much on an everyday basis now but I'm getting back into it because it was such an, another peaceful part of my life honestly y'all and it has helped me maintain my mental peace so many times and I would say that would be number five is to journal write write, write everything down how you feeling 
write it down. Because some people have a hard time expressing themselves, which is very much understandable. Because sometimes we, we just don't know what to say or don't know how we feel. So it's, de it's definitely understandable that sometimes people have a hard time expressing themselves. I personally found that writing things down helps me to express myself because it helps me to understand how I truly feel. Because sometimes when you're in that moment, especially when you're talking to someone or you're having a conversation with someone and they basically, let's just say someone rubs you the wrong way and you're having that conversation with them. And in that moment, you don't know how it really made you feel because you don't even know how to express yourself enough or get it out of your head to the point where it's like, oh, I feel this way. So sometimes me personally, I'll just get in my little notebook here and I just write things down. I write, every, not every day. I was about to say every day, but not every day, y'all. But I write a lot. I write things down. I've even found myself writing notes to people that I just never said certain things to. I wrote notes to them. Never received them or anything like that, but I still wrote those notes because it helped me express myself and get it off my chest, get it out of my mind, help me free my mind. It is definitely, it's a great asset to have, y'all. I would really recommend this. Journaling, write it all down. Nobody ever has to see what you write down in your notebook. You can hide this from the world. And back to what I was saying about me writing notes. I want to give this example. Or not really more so an example. Let's just say this. I found myself writing notes to several people over the past few years that I just didn't tell exactly how I felt. And the one time I did not write a note to someone that I feel like I should have, the relationship crashed and burned, y'all. And it wasn't a romantic relationship. It was a friendship relationship. But it crashed and burned way worse than it had to. So I feel like... I messed up there. I fumbled the bag there. I feel like we could have ended that so much more better, so much peaceful. Had I just either said how I felt or or expressed myself to them more, or had I wrote down that note, had I wrote those notes that I never was able to send out. But me personally, I feel like me writing that note to you and never giving it to you, I still was able to express myself. Had I did that, I feel like it would have been a completely different turnout. But it completely showed me. So I definitely recommend Give y'all a journal, write down things, you know, it's a very easy way to express yourself. And you, it. you don't have to express yourself to others, it's expressing yourself to you. It's you helping yourself understand how you feel, how this made you feel, and getting it off your chest. Because once you, y me personally, once I say something, I feel so much relief. That just might be the case with writing down things. So I definitely recommend journal, y'all. Get you a little notepad, write down everything. Some people call it a diary or something like that. However you want to label it, whatever you want to call it, just put it on there. Write it down. Write it down. So six is something that, let's just say, I recently started doing here. Practice forgiveness. This, um, this isn't something that I've always been good at, honestly. I used to hold grudges so bad, y'all, so bad, which only led me to always being angry. And it helps nothing. It helps absolutely nothing. Practice forgiveness, y'all. And forgiveness is not for the other person. It's completely for you. Once you get that in your head, just practice that for you. Even if they don't apologize, just move on with life. So my number seven would be to surround yourself around people you love and trust. It's very important to surround yourself around individuals who have your best interests at heart, who's going to love you and want the best for you. And stay open to making new, genuine connections. Yes, y'all, these are some of the things that I just live by on a daily, honestly. And it really, it really, truly helps me maintain my mental peace. Like, I'm able to calmly live through life, get through life. And we have so many obstacles thrown our way. We have so much to deal with. Just, just just, make sure you're at peace with what happens. Whatever decision you make, make sure you're at peace with it. That's why it's very important. Think everything through thoroughly. Before you make a decision, think it through. Before you say something, think it through. Whatever it is, think it through. Don't just up and do something. Don't just up and make decisions that you aren't going to agree with in a few months down the line. Or a few days down the line. A few hours down the line. Because I've seen myself there. I've... Let's just use this as an example. I've seen myself so say something on social media before, and immediately after, I felt like that wasn't me. I did not agree with it. So I say think everything through. Think of every everything that could happen, think of it. 
But yeah, yeah, these are some of my tips and tricks how I maintain my mental peace. I hope this helps you out a little bit. And honestly, I want to do more topics like this. I want us to have more discussions like this. So the part, the the reason for me starting Bird, Bird Talks is to connect with you all a little bit more. I want to know how y'all feel about certain things. I want to show y'all how I feel about certain things. I want to show y'all how I handle issues in my life. I want to know how y'all handle issues. What do you do to maintain your peace? Right now, drop it down in the comments below and let me know like what are some tips and tricks and even let everyone else know. They're going to read the comments as well. Let us know what are some tips and tricks that help you maintain your mental peace and your mental sanity. Because life be life for all of us out here and I feel like we all can use as many tips and tricks as we can get. So that's why I'm even open to tips and tricks. So if there's anything out there that y'all feel like maybe I can implement into my life that would make my mental a little bit more, you know, calmer, peaceful. I honestly feel like I'm in a very peaceful state of mind right now. I've been in a, a very peaceful state of mind for honestly the past two years, honestly, no complaints. Things haven't happened exactly how they're supposed to happen. And whatever else is gonna happen, it's supposed to happen as well. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I really want to do more sit down conversations like this. So if there's any topics, any anything, even if it's some controversial issue that y'all want me to discuss, sit down, talk about, drop them down in the comments below, y'all. Like, please drop them down in the comments below. This is a way for us to get to know each other better and connect so y'all can understand how I think. I want to know how y'all think, how y'all feel. I want y'all to know how I feel. Like, I don't want y'all to be missing out on any parts of my life. Well, certain things we all, we all, you can't share everything with everyone. But it's still, y'all understand the concept of what I'm saying. Like, I want y'all to understand me more and I want to understand y'all more. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button most importantly hit that subscribe button and peace out my four lifers i will catch y'all in the next video